morning and welcome to Thursday, the 5th of November, our morning prayer for today. You can follow most of it from the Church of England website. And whilst we endure yet another lockdown, the Church of England has asked that we dedicate our Thursdays to times of committed prayer for the COVID pandemic and its effects. So into our service. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, sovereign God, ruler and judge of all. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of this age that is passing away, May the light of your presence, which the saints enjoy, surround our steps as we journey on. May we reflect your glory this day, and so be made ready to see your face in the heavenly city, where night shall be no more. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 11 Through the greatness of your mercy, I will come into your house. Lord, who may dwell in your tabernacle, who may rest upon your holy hill, whoever leads an uncorrupt life and does the thing that is right, who speaks the truth from the heart and bears no deceit on the tongue, who does no evil to a friend and pours no scorn on a neighbour, in whose sight the wicked are not esteemed, but who honours those who fear the Lord. Whoever has sworn to a neighbour and never goes back on that word, who does not lend money in hope of gain, nor takes a bribe against the innocent, whoever does these things shall never fall. Through the greatness of your mercy, I will come into your house. Lord, lead us to our heavenly home by single steps of self-restraint and deeds of righteousness through the grace of Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from Revelation chapter 3 and I'm going to read from verse 8 to verse 13. I know your works. Look, I have set before you an open door, which no one is able to shut. I know that you have but little power, and yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say that they are Jews and are not, but are lying, I will make them come and bow down before your feet, and they will learn that I have loved you. Because you have kept my word of patient endurance, I will keep you from the hour of trial that is coming on the whole world to test the inhabitants of the earth. I am coming soon. Hold fast to what you have, so that no one may seize your crown. If you conquer, I will make you a pillar in the temple of my God. You will never go out of it. I will write on you the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem that comes down from my God out of heaven and my own new name. Let anyone who has an ear listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Well, as we re-enter lockdown, this reading from Revelation, tricky as I find the revelation of John, I think it has a message for us all. My personal take is that it's speaking to us of maintaining our search for opportunities in mission and discipleship. And lockdown might mean physically our doors remain closed, but metaphorically we can keep our channels open and a door open to faithfully demonstrate in whatever way we can the message of hope in Christ. We can use this time perhaps to develop further confidence in our faith by devotedly applying Christ's teaching and that may be through our own commitment to extending our daily prayer and our daily devotions as the church has asked of us. And of course, in serving others in whatever way we can. So Christ encourages us to persevere, to rely on him, to live in hope, and to keep our sights set on the rewards of the life to come in God's glorious kingdom. Let's pass it on. Would you please join me in prayer? In these times of uncertainty, Lord, we ask you hear us as we pray. Lord, we bring before you the ongoing COVID-19 situation and this second lockdown. Lord, we ask you to give us resilience, forbearance and patience as we endure these days, particularly as we miss contact with our loved ones. We pray you will keep all family and friends safe and out of harm's way. We offer you our gratitude for the skills and the devotion of those in the front line, of the caring professions. We ask you will give tenacity and persistence to those who are working as key workers yet again across our nation. Guide these individuals to find nurturing rest, means of recuperation, after working long hours in distressing circumstances. And Lord, we bring to you those for whom this second lockdown brings yet more broken dreams, financial hardship and mental turmoil. We pray you will be their support and guiding light in their anxieties and distress. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for our government. We pray for all in authority. Lord, give them direction to act wisely and calmly in these coming days. Keep them steadfast and prudent in their decision making as they steer us through this stressful dilemma. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we give thanks, Lord, for those who have set us the example of putting others' needs first. And we remember Christ, the supreme example of selfless giving, Lord, may we all find ways of giving ourselves in service to others as you did. Let us look out for the signs and opportunities that you may set before us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we bring before you all those who are ill, including those who are this day fighting the virus. We pray for those coping alone, those who feel shunned by family or society, 
and we bring to you, Lord, those who are grieving alone. Lord, we pray you will walk alongside each person. May they know your presence and find comfort and strength in your love. And we bring before you, O Christ, those whose life has ended. Give them the everlasting peace that comes from your victory over death. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Collect for today. Almighty and eternal God, you have kindled the flame of love in the hearts of the saints. Grant to us the same faith and power of love, that as we rejoice in their triumphs, we may be sustained by their example and fellowship. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, do take very special care of yourselves. Um, take no rest risks and keep hope on your radar. God bless you and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.